What have you learned from the years of developing MMOs that are being applied to EverQuest Next? EverQuest Next is a culmination of, you know, 14 years of making different kinds of MMOs. I mean, we have more experience than anyone in the industry, and the average number of MMOs on this particular team that they've made is three. So the people on this team have made three MMOs on average. I mean, that's, that's an amazing feat. How has the evolving MMO market impacted the development of this game? Well, it, um, the evolving MMO market impacted this game because we decided that we did not want to continue the current trend. Uh, we're bored with it. We helped create it, and too many games have been made with the kind of current sort of, you know, level grind, uh, get loot mechanic, and we decided we wanted to change that. So it impacted it in the way that you'd hope it would, which is change. What are the challenges of introducing a new game in today's marketplace? You know, the biggest challenges of introducing a game in today's marketplace revolve around um, a combination of the operational aspect, which you know, it takes an enormous amount of logistical infrastructure, which we've put into place, um, and simply put, the, the um, users today have played so many different MMOs that we have to offer them something different if, they want, if, if we want them to come and play our game. How are, uh, how are you designing this game for the large number of new gamers entering the fray? The biggest focus that we've made on new users entering into the fray is to give them a place where they come into the game and feel like they are powerful and feel like they are um, impacting the game. We do something that no other game does, which is permanent change. And a new user, a, you know, fresh off the boat, one day player can change the world in our game. Totally different than any other MMO ever made. What will giving players actual tools to build this world open up for the genre? What we have seen is that if we give the players the tools, they can build stuff even better than we can. Uh, our SOE Player Studio initiative is proof of that. We have seen amazing, amazing items made by our players, and we feel that it's going to be um, a huge paradigm shift for us in that our users are going to be able to help us build this amazing game. What impact has free-to-play impacted in the MMO space? Free-to-play has impacted the MMO space in a really major way. It started in Asia, and as it's made its way over to the United States, we have actually changed our business model so that our games are based around free-to-play games. What that means is that there's no barrier to entry. You can check our games out. If you like them, pay us. If you don't, you can play and not pay us. But it's very, very powerful in that it allows um, a wide variety of, of players to come into the mix and try things without actually spending money. What business model will EverQuest Next employ? EverQuest Next will employ the free-to-play business model. We feel that it's, very, it's the right business model for the game and that on a go-forward basis, it allows our users to check out content in a way that doesn't cost them money, doesn't, uh, doesn't really hit their pocketbook. It's all about the fun, and for us, that's the most important thing.